Well, physically, I'm like, I, we did sparring every, like three times a week against these kids from like Echo Park that want to be professionals. Um, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just kidding. Like, it's some, like, you know, it was, it was brutal. Um, doing that, I did a lot of weapons training. Um, because the thing that we wanted to do is like, we didn't want to, we didn't want to look like actors. You know, because when you just tell an actor to do something and then you're like coaching him, coaching him, they have a lot of attention on, on you know, the gun and how you walk and doing all that stuff. And, um, and we just wanted to be, you know, be done with that. So, like, it took us a while, but, like, you know, we, we practiced that for five months. And then we also went on ride-alongs. Must have been on, like, 40 ride-alongs, you know. Um, and that was telling as well. I think that mentally is the one that affected me probably the most um, because you see people that are like you know shot in the face and in the limbs or whatnot, and uh, there's no it's it's not a laughing matter you know um, uh, and Lord knows we tried you know what I mean like to to shake it off and it's it's really tough to shake it off. Jake actually saw somebody die, like die um, in his first ride along and it's kind of a brutal. I mean, we saw videos about like what the cartels are really doing, and they're just—it's um, a—it's a whole different world with those guys. And uh, so mentally, also, I mean, and plus we were rehearsing a bunch, and our, you know, our director writer David Ayer, who wrote Training Day, he was in the Navy, and he knows all these cops, and he knows all these um, uh, criminals as well, the gangsters, and just. And also we had a, an advisor, which a lot of this stuff is based off of, and he would tell us these stories, and I was like, how did you think about it? And he would really, you know, we'd just keep replaying different scenarios and be like, wow, man. And then, but I don't know when it happened, but after that, like after three months or something, like I was like, I feel like a cop. What I really did, like I can't even, like I wouldn't be able to phone it in right now. If we did reshoots, I'd be like, I don't know where, it, you know, I'd have to do some sparring or something like that. The the most difficult thing was definitely because um, you know after the first uh, the first meeting that I had with David Ayer is like you guys are going to be brothers. I'm like what? He's like you guys be best friends, dude. And he's like yeah, we can act. And he's like no acting. You guys got to become best friends. And I was like wow, well, all right. So literally we hung out every day for five months. Oh, uh, you know Saturdays and Sundays off, and. Uh, First two months, it, I gotta admit, maybe two and a half months, it wasn't happening. And I was like, I was like, man, because he's so different, you know. He, he grew up in Hollywood, you know, in Hancock Park. I'm like, I don't know if he was uber rich, but he didn't, you know, it wasn't like a poor area. Um, his sister's a, a fantastic actress. Um, you know, dad's a director, mom's a screenwriter, Academy Award nominated screenwriter. And, uh, you know, I live... I live in like a little apartment with I don't know how many people, uh, you know, my parents came from Mexico and were farmers and, uh, you know, I had my bike for 30 minutes, he still has his bike, uh, you know, like there's, it's just we were two different people so like we had to find like a common ground and we were able to do it after three months of ride-alongs, that's when you're like, because sometimes you have to step out of the car and the police officers are doing their traffic stops and people like sometimes gather around. And I remember a couple of times it was like, oh God, we could d definitely get into a fight. And then we'd look at each other and be like, I got your back, you got my back, let's go. And those kind of moments really, you know, lead you to have like a real kind of brotherhood, you know, where I know that if I got into to any trouble out there, like I, I'm, I'm positive that Jake would have, you know, we would have both fought it out with whoever it was that was trying to attack us. It was tough because here's the thing. When you live in a, in a bad neighborhood, I didn't really know that it was a bad neighborhood until I left. You know what I mean? So, like, it was, everything was just like, um, it, it was what it was, you know? Like, it wasn't like, oh, man, I live in a bad neighborhood. I live in the ghetto, you know? <clears throat> it just is what it is. And then finally, when I left to, to Hollywood, I was like, Oh, whoa. It actually made me nervous, um, you know, being in meetings with people that are professionals. Like, actually, that was nerve-wracking, in all honesty. More nerve-wracking than it is, like, walking home and you can tell that some gangsters are... Because I knew how to deal with it. That's all I grew up with. So I actually had to revisit that from an exterior viewpoint and be like, oh, wow, this is the... You know, and it's completely different now.
you know, looking at it that I've been in Hollywood for 17 years. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.